Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video on a 2 indicator setup that works beautifully on a 20 minute time frame. Before I begin, I would just like to state that this is an educational channel. All views expressed to here are only for education purposes. So please do not make or take any financial decisions based on the views expressed to here. Kindly consult your financial advisor before you take any financial decision. Also read the disclaimer below. With that said, let's proceed. As you can see on my screen, I've got two indicators set up and I'm working on the 20 minute time frame but I'll do this from scratch so that you can understand so I'll make a new layout and so this is the new layout I'll probably go to crude oil so let's go to crude oil and I'll for the time being get rid of this volume indicator I'm on the I'll choose the 20 minute time frame I'm using 20 because this these two indicators for me work beautifully on the 20 minute time frame. The first indicator is Wu Man Chu. Wu Man Chu Swing Free. It's by Giselle. This is the one. Alright. Wu Man Chu Swing Free. So add it to your favorites. Click on this. And the next indicator is let everything be on its default setting on the Womanchu swing free. The next indicator we will add is RSI plus. This is the one by DR7. Add it to your favorites. This is the one. It looks like this. There is only one or two changes we'll make to that. That is as we usually do. We'll go at the bottom. You will uncheck these labels and values. That's the only thing we don't want. And this indicator works very good in the default setting also. But just so that we get it more in tune with the above indicator, we will convert this 14 to 21. All right. That's it. That is the only change we have made. You can decide whether you want to work on the default setting or change it to 21. 14 is also good. 21 also works. I think 21 works more in sync with this uh, Wumanchu free signals. So they tend to work more in sync when the bottom one is at 21. All right. Over here also, I'll make one simple change, even though it's not required. That is, I'll go at the bottom and I'll uncheck this uh, values and labels. As I usually do in all my indicators, you'll find me doing that unless I specifically mention it. Generally, I uncheck those two boxes. So with that, you see with what clarity this is giving us the signals. This is crude on a 20 minute time frame. And if you just look at it, the only lines you that you see on my screen over here are sessions break. It, it shows one day ending and the next day beginning. That's that you can select over here and go to sessions break if i remove this those lines will go off if i click on this those lines will come back so that's about it so that is uh, you know separates the days but that's it just look at the screen you'll find the amount of clarity this indicator is giving you uh when it states a buy it's a beautiful buy and when it states a sell it's pretty accurate in the way it's going if you reduce this to a shorter time frame again it will give you pretty accurate signals but I would say there would be a lot of noise on on the chart. So if I decrease this from 20, say, to a 10 minute, you can see there's a lot of noise. Sell, buy, sell, buy. If I go further down to, say, 5 minutes, it'll get even more noisier. If I go to 3 minutes, it'll get even more noisier. So what I've found is, if I'm going to use this two indicators only, and, uh, and if I'm going to trade on crude paper trading, that is, I have seen some success paper trading on the 20 minute time frame all right so i would really suggest people to try and test this strategy out on a 20 minute time frame and let us know how the results go in the comment section below with that said i'll end this video hope it was of some help to you in your learning curve uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe to the channel share it with your family and friends i'll see you in another video take care bye bye